to rank every 133 FPS team in the 2023 season. And if you don't want to wait, all the graphics have already been posted on Instagram. And remember, this isn't counting any bowl games. So we got Texas Tech at 53rd. They had a very average season, but I don't think their record really shows who they were. Had a lot of talent on that team, just couldn't edge out a couple wins. Like they started the season 0-2, losing an overtime game to Wyoming and also losing to Oregon by one score. At 52nd, we have UTSA. They had a very good season where two of their losses came to power five teams and another loss came to a ranked Tulane team. They didn't have any great wins on their schedule to move them up at all, so they slot here. At 51st, we have Washington State. And I personally think they were just as good as many 7-5 and five teams this year. As we all know, football is a game of momentum. And for Washington State, they lost all that momentum. They even beat really solid teams at the beginning of the year like Wisconsin and Oregon State, but then fell apart after that and lost every single game, minus Colorado. At 50th, we have UNLV. They had a very great season, being the runners-up of the Mountain West, and two of their losses came by one score, so this easily could have been a 10-win team. Now, Actually, we got Iowa State. Shout out Ball and Cyclone. But Iowa State did go 7-5 and five this year, and I honestly didn't expect them to be this good. Even had very solid wins over Oklahoma State and Kansas State. So for me, that's lost them in at 49th. At 48th, we got Jacksonville State, and they were a very solid team this year. Two of their losses came from Liberty and New Mexico State, both very good group of five teams. 47th, we got the runner-up in the Sun Belt. Appalachian State took that step that we wanted them to take last year. They did have some heartbreaking losses where four of their losses came down to a one-score game. Here we got the winners of the Mountain West. Boise State started off a little rough, fired their coach, and then they turned it around. At the end of the season, they went on a four-game winning streak to win the conference. Their record might not be that great, but winning the Mountain West Conference shot them up to 46. Next, we have Wisconsin, and a team that probably should be 9-3. They lost games to Indiana and Northwestern at the end of the season. And if it wasn't for that, they might be top 25. At 44th, we have USC. Being preseason top 5 and having Caleb Williams as your quarterback and then getting a 7-5 season is super disappointing. 